Uh, all right, well, the president is issuing an order right now to, to create a new space command. His vice president, Mike Pence, at the Kennedy Space Center earlier to uh, talk about it. Take a look. It is my privilege to announce that today, President Trump will direct the Department of Defense to establish a combatant command that will oversee all our military activities in space. A new era of American national security in space begins today. All right, so more of the right stuff. Uh, a proud member of that group is uh, Clayton Anderson, the former NASA astronaut, author of It's a Question of Space. Clayton, thank you for taking the time. What do you make of this initiative? What will it do exactly versus what we have now? Well, you know, Neil, full disclosure, I'm a civilian retired astronaut vice military, so uh, perhaps some of my colleagues have more intel than I do. Uh, but based on the things I know, <clears throat> it's uh, looking more and more like it's going to be a big project. And uh, in terms of the details of what exactly they will do, uh, that still remains to be seen to me. But I do think it's important that we protect our assets in space. You know, the one thing that worries me about this, I don't want to sound like uh, you know, paranoid about it, but uh, it, does this supersede NASA? In other words, is there the technology and discovering the vast unknown combined with military now or, or not? I mean, because that would get me a little anxious. Yeah, I'm not sure of the actual details with respect to that. In the old days, uh, we did bring some Air Force personnel to uh, right. NASA to learn how to do the things that NASA does. I still think they're pretty separate. Uh, I would like to think we would keep them separate. Uh, but again, uh, that's way above my pay grade. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I just know that, you know, uh, if you think about our original astronauts, I mean, they were Air Force fighter pilots and, and the rest, so there was right. that synergy there. But I am wondering whether we're just trying to write what has been a, a, a rickety space exploration chip for us. In fact, so much so that we have, by and large, been hooking rides with the Russians to get to the International Space Station. That will soon be changing. Obviously, our success on the unmanned front remains second to none. We've got a couple of uh, capsules now that have escaped the surly bonds of the solar system. Uh, we've got them backing up like planes at LaGuardia heading to Mars. So we're doing okay <laughs> on the space front here. What do you, what's your sense of where we're going? Well, I think you're exactly right. Uh, there's so much out there uh, from commercialization of space to militarization of space to all the other things that we do with uh, unmanned probes. I think there's enough to go around with everyone. But if, even if you go back in history, we did have a military parallel to NASA in the early days. And oftentimes those things come together eventually. Uh, but how they come together remains to be seen. It's going to be a very interesting uh, 10 to 15 to 20 years. You know, it's very interesting when you talk about the early days, uh, to your point, Clayton. I mean, uh, John Kennedy played that, uh, that rivalry with the then Soviet Union to his advantage to get more funding for space initiatives because no one wanted the, you know, the Soviets on the moon first. No one wanted them continuing to beat us as they did in the early days to get... Uh, men and later women in space. So that worked to his advantage. Now there's a little bit less of that, uh, that, that Cold War mentality. And many have made much of the fact that the Chinese are dramatically uh, building their space operations. What's your sense of where this battle goes? Well, you know, the part about the Chinese is also a concern to me. And I've advocated many times that if I were in the White House and the administration, I'd be advocating to partner with China hmm. sooner than later. I think that it's important if we look at the space station and the collaboration we've had uh, internationally and the things that we've done with Russia and with the other partners, I think we could begin to make the same inroad if we partnered with China. Uh, I get that they're a communist country. I understand that there are laws and rules against that, but those things can be changed and modified and morphed such that if we're working with them in space, I don't think we're fighting with them. Yeah, if we're working in concert with them up there, we'll be less inclined to battle them down here. You might have something uh, to that. Uh, Clayton, great seeing you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Neil. Merry Christmas. To you as well, Clayton Anderson, the former NASA astronaut, author of It is a Question of Space, a great cheerleader for all things way beyond uh, our terrestrial planet.